in this video we are going to talk about the key differences between T cells and B cells two vital components of our adaptive immune system first of all let's begin with the origin of these cells both T cells and B cells originate from the bone marrow so in terms of origin they are same second is the site of maturation although both start from the bone marrow they mature at different locations T cells migrate and mature in the thymus. B cells on the other hand mature right in the bone marrow itself. Third is the selection process which is crucial for immune tolerance. T cells undergo both positive and negative selection. Positive selection ensures that only those T cells survive which can recognize self MHC molecules. Whereas negative selection eliminates those T cells which bind too strongly to self antigens, thereby preventing autoimmunity. So, yes, both positive and negative selection occurs in T cells. Whereas in case of B cell selection, we see there is no positive selection. However, negative selection does take place. During this process, self reactive B cells are eliminated in the bone marrow. This step is essential for establishing central tolerance and avoiding autoimmune responses. Now let's see the surface markers on both the cells. On T cells we have CD3 plus present on all T cells. CD4 plus marks helper T cells. CD8 plus marks cytotoxic T cells. Whereas on B cells we have CD19 plus, CD20 plus which is classic B cell marker, CD21, plus acts as EBV receptor and we also have some molecules on the surface like surface IgM IgD molecules which functions as B cell receptors then we move on to antigen recognition we see T cells cannot recognize free antigens antigen must be presented on MHC molecules by antigen presenting cells whereas the B cells can directly recognize free native antigens via BCR MHC presentation is not required. Then we move on to the functions. First, let's see the functions of CD4 plus helper T cells. We have Th1 cell. It activates macrophages, fight intracellular pathogens. Second is Th2 cell. Helps B cell combat parasites. Then we have Th17. It defends against fungal and bacterial infections. Then we have Trag suppresses immune response to prevent overactivity. Now the CD8 positive cytotoxic T cells. They kill infected or tumor cells using perforin and granizymes. And these CD8 positive cytotoxic cells also help form the memory T cells. Now the function of B cells. They produce antibodies. Undergo class switching which is CD40, CD40L dependent can act as antigen presenting cells via MSC class 2 and also help form memory B cells. Now let's compare effector molecules. T cells use cytokines like IFN gamma, IL4, IL17, porphyrin and granizymes for killing. B cells produce antibodies. In case of memory cells, we see the memory T cells are long lived provide a rapid secondary response. Whereas the memory B cells enable quick antibody production upon re-exposure. Then the immune role of both. T cells drive cell mediated immunity, effective against intracellular pathogens and tumors. B cells drive humoral immunity, defense against extracellular pathogens via antibodies. Now at the end we have some high yield points. It's MSC restriction, CD4 plus T cells interact via MSC class 2 whereas CD8 plus T cells interact via MSC class 1. Key defects include SCID, DeGeorge syndrome, HIV. And these T cells have a role in type 4 hypersensitivity and transplant rejection. Now in case of B cells we have defects like X-linked agamoglobulinemia, CVID, hyper IgM syndrome, associated hypersensitivities includes type 1, type 2 and type 3. So these are the key differences between T and B cells. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. You can support me on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.